Protests in Belarus continue for the fourth weekend. People have been taking to the streets as res res resentment rises on the ground against re-election of the disputed president Alexander Lukashenko. On Saturday, mass security agents dragged students off the streets. Up to 30 students were detained for participating in those unsanctioned protests. People showed up in red and white opposition flags and other colors. Thousands of women also held a separate march through Minsk, shouting hands off the children. Meanwhile, a Belarusian opposition activist has alleged that she had been forced by the authorities to leave her home country. Olga Kavalkova leveled those allegations after she arrived in the Polish capital of Warsaw. Kovalkova is a senior figure in the Belarusian Opposition Coordination Council. On the 25th of August, she was sentenced to 10 days in jail. Когда я находилась за кратами, до мне пришли сотрудники улада и сказали, что коли я не захочу, ну, коли я не погоджусь съехать с ними, коли они меня не вывезут с страны, то я буду находиться в тюрьме долго. Я не приехали до мне у изолятор, посадили у свою машину, опранули капюшон, опранули маску, поклали на заднее сиденье и вывезли меня из изолятора. Я не довезли, я не ведала на какие пропускные пункты, у какие бок мы едем. Мы приехали на пункт пропуску Брузги. Belarusian opposition leader Svetlana Tikhanovskaya will visit Warsaw on Wednesday, where she will be meeting the Prime Minister. Tikhanovskaya has called on the United Nations and the international community to condemn the crackdown on the protesters that, according to her, was sanctioned by the President Alexander Lukashenko. She spoke at a virtual informal session of the UN Security Council, where she urged the UN to send an international monitoring mission to Belarus. Now we, the Belarusian people, need the help of the United Nations in order to stop blatant human rights violations and cynical disregard for human dignity rights in the middle of Europe. We ask the United Nations to condemn the use of excessive force by the Belarusian security services against protesters. We suggest a special session of the United Nations Human Rights Council to discuss the human rights situation in Belarus. We urge the United Nations to send the immediate international monitoring mission to Belarus to document the situation on the ground. Tikhanovsky also said that only a transparent and fair election could break the country out of the political crisis it is witnessing. She accused Lukashenko's regime of stealing votes and destroying the evidence of election protocols not being followed. Not just that, she did not want to cut ties with Russia, but any interference in Belarus's internal affairs would be unacceptable, according to her.